Good morning. I am Dr. Zain Aga from zwinnerforex.com. I have developed a robot that will trade the news for you. So first of all, let me explain how this robot works. Uh, this is the robot. It's called Zwinner News Trader. And here is the pair that I'm going to trade. It's called Euro USD on the one minute time frame. This is a one minute chart. So I will open the expert advisor properties and then explain you what it does. First of all, there is a there's an option here for you that if you wish to trade in the direction of the trend or not. If you want to trade in the direction of the trend, then you should make it as true. Okay. It will place two orders only in one direction wherever the market is going. Now to find out the direction of the trend, I have here two different moving averages. One is a slow moving average of 24 period and the other one is a fast moving average of 6 period. So this shows the software where the direction of the market is. So if you put it true, it will place the pending orders only in that direction. Now when it places the pending orders, it will place two pending orders and it will it is programmed to take 10 pips on the first order and 100 pips on the second one. So since we are working with five digit broker, so I have to put an extra zero. So instead of 10, I have to make it 100. Similarly, instead of 100, to make it into 1000. Okay. Then we have a stop loss, which is set to about 30 pips. And then we have one more option here, where to set the pending orders, how far from the current market. So the minimum is, and by default it is 10 pips. That means if the candle opens here, for example, if the candle opens here, it will place a pending order supposing this is the direction of the market going down it will place a two pending orders for sell below this candle at about 10 pips away so you have an option if you want to put it 10 pips away or 20 pips away or 15 pips away it's up to you if you put less than 10 pips then the sell of EA can place but the buy orders it won't be able to place because of the broker restriction. The broker wouldn't let you put in an order about 10 pips, less than 10 pips above because of the spread. So it has to be 10 pips or higher. Now the next thing we have here is the setting for the maximum spread. Some brokers increase their spread at the time of the news. So by default, it is 10 pips but I have made it 5 pips so it is like this here this is 10 pips by default but uh, it's up to you how much you want to have so I keep it at 5 pips if it's more than 5 pips I don't want the trade okay now after that we have here a break even okay do you want to make the robot uh, bring the stop loss to break even after taking your first profit so once you take your if you put it to true then once you get your take profit at 10 pips then for the second trade it will bring the stop loss to break even and uh, here is how far you want the break even supposing you wanted the first at 15 pips so you will have to put it here break even as 15 is 150 
and if you want to have the break even as at 10 pips if your take profit is 10 pips put your break even at 10 pips and then we have another option which is the trailing stop do you want the trailing stop to work or not if you want the trailing stop to work then uh, once the profits reach to 20 pips then the trailing stop will start 10 pips behind you and it will continue in that way some people prefer not to put in the trailing stop in that case you can make it as false okay uh, some people do not like the trailing stop because it gets them out prematurely because the market doesn't travel in a straight line it goes up and down up and down up and down so supposing you had your trailing stop following you here and this market went up it will get you stopped out therefore some people do not wish to get the put on the trailing stop but then there are some people who want the trailing stop no matter what so they are happy with smaller profits and they're not greedy so it's up to you whether you wish to have the trailing stop true or false okay and then uh, you can also there is also an option to remove your pending orders in case the market didn't go that high uh, so here by default you've got 15 minutes by default it is 15 minutes like this now if the pending orders haven't been filled in by 15 minutes the robot will remove the pending orders automatically okay now I am going to put in five minutes so if my trade hasn't been executed within five minutes I want them to be uh, turned off okay right now let us go and set our robot to trade now what we do we look at the news time and then we compare it with our broker server time my time here in UK at the moment is 1221 and the server time of this uh, broker which is uh, Sunbird FX is 1321 that means they are an hour ahead of me so no matter what time is your broker time you can compare and uh, the time of the news with the broker's time and take the difference and you have to put in the time of the broker time supposing the news is at half past eight and the broker's time will be half past nine so how we do it here i will show you so we will turn the trend off so that no matter which way the market goes we will have the pending orders on both ways and uh, i will leave the default moving average 24 and 6 and it's up to you if you want to change it you can change it yourself okay now this is the date i have to put in so today is the 3rd of january so we have first the year 2014 then the month and then the date so i will put it in again in front of you so you got the year 2014 then place a dot and 01.03 okay now the time the news is on supposing the news is on at half past eight you will make it as not point eight twenty nine a minute before the news is out you should place your uh, the pending orders both for buy and for sell and here is the lot size by default it is set to micro i have changed it to mini lots so you can change the lots take profit by default it is 10 pips uh, the first order the first trade and the second trade is 100 pips Oops. okay so it's up to you if you want to change it if you see the news is very highly volatile you can increase it to 
instead of 10 you can increase this to 20 pips is the first one and keep it as 100 pips for the second one and then the stop loss by default is 50 pips but I have made it into 30 but this is the default 50 pips and depending on the news how far you want to keep it it's up to you so I will put it at 30 pips and then this is my how far is the number of pips from stop for the stop orders above and below the current candle the candle that opens so by default is 10 pips so I think I will leave it at 10 pips and the maximum spread is up to you some people some brokers they increase the spread so I have put in depending on what the news is by default is 10 pips 100 uh, but I'm going to make it 50 now because I'm going to show you uh, how this is to trade today is uh, Friday and the uh, end of the week and the uh, next week we will have the non-farm payroll anyway so I will put it 10 pips 5 pips away and I will leave the break-even as true and uh, I will leave the trailing stop as true again right and uh, then these once the market reaches 200 pips 20 pips the trailing stop will start at 10 pips behind and then if the news is not if the orders are not filled in by five minutes then the robot will remove the orders now I'll go to the common I'll see and uh, the enable starts enable alerts are tick marked on live trading is on allow dll imports is on and allow import of external experts is on the others should be off okay and then you click okay now what i have to do i have to put in the time everything is set the only thing i have to put in is the time now my robot is telling me waiting please input the starting time okay now I see here uh, the time now on the server is 1326 it's coming to 1328 so what I'm going to do to show you an example I'm going to place the time everything is set only the time which I will put into at uh, uh, it is 13.28, okay, let's see, 13 colon 28, okay, now I will click OK, and then you will see what happens here. Now the time is set here at the 13.28, now as soon as the server time here changes to 13.28, and as soon as the new candle opens, it will place four pending orders. It will place two pending orders to buy and two pending orders to sell about 10 pips away from the open of the candle. So as soon as the new candle opens, I will place a line here. Okay, I'm going to now set the robot to trade the news but uh, at the moment we don't have any news what I'm going to do is to take the server time and then accordingly place the time to trade on the through the robot okay here is the I'm going to open the properties right and uh, the common tabs is everything's okay here the inputs I'm going to have the trend as false and uh, then I'm going to make the time as the time now is 14.19 so I will put it as 14.20 14.20 okay and I click OK right now now it's saying the is waiting the next trade is at 1420 it's 141927 as soon as it's 1420 the it will place pending orders 
10 pips above and 10 pips below the open of the next candle so let's see as soon as it places the orders I will place this line to show you how far it has placed depending orders it should place 10 pips above and 10 pips below the open of the new candle this new candle opened here okay sorry it opened here and these if you see here four orders have been placed two for buy and two for sell so let's see how far are the orders here if you look here it is 10 plus the spread it's about 11.3 pips and here if you go down here and it is about 9.8 about 10 pips so on an average it's the same as 10 pips above and below the most recent candle this candle when it opened okay the market is going down and here is the take profit 10 pips away and the stop loss is up here and the we take profit for this order this trade the buy trade is at the uh, here at 10 pips now as soon as the sell order will get filled in it will remove the buy orders you see the buy order is gone now and the sell order has been taken in now when it goes to this is the first take profit so you can see there are two orders here okay the first one the take profit is here and the second one by default is 100 pips away this one so as soon as the market reaches this level to about 20 pips the trailing stop will start it will take over and it will stay behind about 10 pips behind the current candle okay now this is the entry this is a take profit and this is the stop loss few actually there is no news at the moment i just uh, put this in to show you how the robot will work for you okay so whenever there is a news and if is if you get a sell uh, order gets filled in the may most probably the news wasn't very good for that currency so the market will continue going down okay the next step you have to do before you place the orders what you have to do is to make the pairs okay uh, since we are trading the euro news we are trading the euro pairs so we have one here the euro usd pair and what we will do we will go to template and save template as the news euro here it is the news euro okay i've already saved it here but we'll save it again news euro okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to open another chart and we need to have we're looking for the euro pairs so this is euro USD we already have it this is the euro GBP so you open this one and make it one minute and then right click and put the template on it news euro this one news euro okay you will get the the robot here the EA and the time is waiting for the time so I will put in the next time later okay let's go to the next pair we need to have seven pairs go to new chart to look for euro GBP we have euro GBP euro Australian dollar and go to one minute and right click go to template and go to the news euro then we open another new chart go to euro swiss franc we need go to one minute and then template and then go to euro news euro okay then we go to the next one open new chart go again euro swiss franc then euro japanese yen go to one minute right click go to template apply news euro okay now we need one more 
a new chart the we have the euro australian dollar euro swiss franc euro japanese yen uh, we look for more euro pairs the next euro pair is this euro canadian dollar and euro new zealand dollar okay let's open the euro new zealand dollar one minute and the template and put the news euro and uh, then we need to go back again uh, again and open the last pair which is euro canadian dollar and we bring it to one minute and then go to the template and go to news euro okay here so now we have here seven pairs one two three four five six seven every currency you will have seven different pairs if you were to trade the US news you will make seven different pairs with the USD uh, currency and if you're trading the pound the British news you will make seven different pairs with the British pound now what I'm going to do is show you is uh, supposing now the time is 1426 okay supposing there is a news at 14:30 okay so i'm going to do this i'm going to go to the expert advisors go to properties and then i'm going to change the time to 14 uh, 29 a minute before the news comes out okay so we are supposing the news is coming out at 14:30 so we will place our pending orders at 14.29 and we have here a micro lot you can change it to mini if you want to you have the 10 pip take profit on the first one 100 pips on the second one stop loss is 50 pips so we have to reduce that that's too much so we go to 30 pips okay it's up to you if you want you can put it 10 pips if you want or 20 pips and this is 10 pips up and down above and below the open of the 229 1429 candle okay and then everything's okay click okay now you wait there's another minute left it says here 1429 the time is 142811 so we wait for the news to come out okay I'm going to cancel this uh, I'm going to exit it so it doesn't interfere with our our example so now let's see now all these pairs will place the pending orders at exactly uh, the open of the 1429 candle which is not possible if you do it manually you cannot do it more than one or maybe two pairs but the advantage of this robot is that it will place the trades all of them together look at that now so he's placing all the trades here and you can see them all filled in okay let's see this is one two three four and uh, this is on the euro canadian dollar euro canadian dollar euro canadian dollar which is this one last one what's happening here oh i see sorry i didn't i forgot to place the time here also so this is the mistake i made so we have to place the trades on all four of all seven pairs okay now let us take the example of 14 supposing the news is at 14.35 okay so let's take the example and let's go to let's remove this first of all remove all these because I made a mistake I didn't put it on all of them I just put it on euro Canadian dollar let's start with the euro USD and uh, this was a previous one okay now go to expert advisors properties and then you put in the time 
the time now is 14.30 we'll place it at 14.35 14 35 okay so and then we will change this also or just leave it like that and then we will say okay click okay and then what we will do we will save it so that we can get the time here also so go to template save template and go to euro news euro this one news euro and click on save okay now you have saved it here okay now go to the next pair and click on look at here it says here waiting please input the starting time now i'm not going to do that with each and every one it takes time all you do and uh, go to templates go to news euro click here so you got the time here and you got the robot is already here then you click on the next one click on the template and go to the news euro here see the time 14 35 go to the next one click the template and select news euro change the time here and then you come here to the next one click the template go to news euro then you go to the news euro new zealand right click select template go to news euro okay and the eurocad also uh, select template and then select news euro okay now all of them have been set if you check them you will see the time uh, keep keep an eye here and i will keep moving the changing the pairs so this is okay the euro japanese yen is okay the euro swiss franc is okay euro australian dollar is okay and the euro uh, pound is okay and the euro usd is okay so we have now about we have seven pairs one two three four five six seven pairs okay at the open of the 1435 candle the robot will place it will place if you go to the properties you will see the trend is off that means it will place two pending orders for buy and two pending orders for sell okay and then here is how it finds the trend in case you put the trend on so it will place only two orders in the direction of the trend it will not place orders on both sides it will place orders only on one side in one direction and this is how it finds out the trend by using the moving averages of 24 and 6 okay now we have another half a minute left 20 seconds left so i think i will just remove this one and just wait here and then see what happens now you will find that the 54 56 57 58 59 60 now see it has placed all the pending orders here can you see all the pending orders are being placed uh, 10 pips above the open of this candle plus the spread is 13.8 and 10 pips below here okay so it has placed the orders on the on the Canadian dollar USD euro Canadian dollar and then here is the euro New Zealand dollar and here is the euro Japanese yen okay here is the euro and Swiss franc okay and then here is the 
this is the entry and this is the take profit this is the entry and this is the take profit and this is the stop loss this is the stop loss for this for the sell order and this is the stop loss for the buy order let's go to the next one euro Australian dollar here again you will see it has placed the two pending orders it's about to get filled in now as soon as this sell order is filled in this will be gone the buy orders will be cancelled let's go to the euro uh, GVP here again you will see the pending orders have been placed and then we have the euro and the USD here again you will see the pending orders are placed okay 10 pips above and below so at the moment there is no news so the market is not that strong it's almost dull but when there is a news the market will either go up or will go down and this is the advantage you'll be taking through this robot so it will be making your profits and uh, it will be managing all of your seven pairs at the same time which you cannot do manually so it's a great advantage to have the robot okay now let's have a look here and let's see here this is about to get filled in so as soon as this order gets filled in this will be the buy order will be removed automatically so we'll wait and have a look here okay so that's how this uh, robot works oh there it is see it's, it's filled in the sell orders and the buy order ha has been removed so there is no buy order so these are the sell orders two orders two trades and uh, this is the stop loss so once it crosses this line it will take 10 pips profit and then in the next stage is to go here to 100 pips now as soon as you get to 20 pips profit this is the 10 pips the trailing stop will start working so this is how the robot will work for you I hope you understand how this robot works and how it will help you so just see if you wish you can buy this and we have a special offer for the webinar attendees for a 20% discount this robot is available on a monthly subscription of $97 but for the webinar attendees I have a special discount of 20% and the link is already given in the webinar where to go and where to buy it okay thank you for being with me and thank you for watching and wish you good luck goodbye